Hello everyone, this is Tricktrick and while working with the Arduino and especially interfacing key or keypad with Arduino, I have faced a serious, serious problem and that is if you want to take a single digit input from your keypad then it's completely fine for you because there will be a lot of internet resources available for that and you can take help from others also. But suppose you want to have to take a multiple digit input from your keypad like you want to take a number of two digit or three digit or four digit then comes the problem because for that case there is very rarely available online resources and the codes in the internet so for that reason i have decided so that for that reason i have decided to make a tutorial video on how to take multiple input from the arduino keypad so uh, let's start it at first i want to make it clear that it is not completely my algorithm i have uh, researched enough on the internet and found and so then i have converted it into the code so let's uh, come to the arduino code so here you can see that this is the arduino code for the program and here i want to make it clear that i i have commented out everything in in my code and i will upload the code in my description box so you can go there and download that i will i am not going to the detailed explanation of the code but i am going through some important points like at first you you you, you might you might are acquainted with the fact that for interfacing a arduino keypad you need to map the pin numbers with the row numbers and the column numbers so we have done in the same way as we are using a four cross three keypad so uh, we need to interface the rows with the digital pins of the arduino as well as the columns so for interfacing the rows you can see that the first row is attached with the second digital pin of the Arduino and the second row is attached with the third digital pin of Arduino and such that and same goes for the columns also you can see that the first column is attached with the sixth digital pin of the Arduino and the second column is attached with the seventh digital pin of the Arduino and such things goes on so why why I have discussed it because while making the connection of that we need to keep that in mind because everything depends on that in on connection of these ports to the right column numbers so let's go to the proteus software for the simulation part so go to the proteus now i will pick up the instruments so now click on p you can see that here you will if you use the latest software you can get this arduino or you can type out in your box arduino i, I, I will be using the arduino you know you can use anything okay so let's search it arduino you can see i think if she, yes that's arduino uno so let's pick it and place it here okay so now we'll need the keypad so now again press p then search for keypad you will get this uh, menu and click on the keypad phone because that is the four cross three layout so now place place it here okay so now for displaying the data we will be needing a serial monitor and for taking a serial monitor in the proteus go to the instrument tool and now you will see an option called virtual terminal click on that because that is the serial plotter or the serial monitor for that Arduino so let's place it also so now we have placed all our equipments or instruments and now it's the time for making the connection so at first make the connection of the serial monitor you know the tx of this arduino will go to the rx of the serial monitor and the rx of the arduino will go to the tx of the serial monitor so we have connected this now comes the connection part of the keypad so let's revisit the code you can see that the rows are connected with two three four five so let's do that in that order so number two pin of this will go to the first row uh, third pin of the arduino will go to the second row fourth pin will go to the third row and the fifth pin will go to the fourth row so we have made the connection of the rows now it's the turn for the columns so uh, let's go to the code and you can see the columns are connected to 6 7th and 8th 
so let's make the connection I'm sorry so here sixth goes to the first column seventh pin goes to the second column and the third column goes to the eighth pin as per our code so now we have made the connections all right so now the time is for uploading the code and for uploading the code you need to generate the hex file of the program so go to the arduino id now here in in, in the sketch tool click that and now click on export compile binary so let's wait uh, okay so now is the, it, it has done compiling so now to check the location of the hex file you click again on the sketch menu and there now go to the show sketch folder uh, so you can see this is the location where my sketch folder or the sketch file is situated and that is this dot hex we need to keep that in mind this location okay so now let's go move to the proteus now click on the arduino and here you will see a option of program file click on the file icon or before that and so now you need to go to that location so you go to the i'm going to documents now arduino and i guess it was so let's search for that okay so it's taking time sorry now this is the folder let's click and here you will find that the dot hex file that you have compiled earlier with the help of arduino id so click on that now select open and now click on ok so now we have compiled the program we have also uploaded the program into the board so now it's the time for our simulation so let's see whether all the things are perfectly running or not so click on the simulate button so you can see that in the virtual terminal a menu a writing pops up the entire digits press any non-digit to end okay let's see make it bigger okay so now place any non-digit to end so now at first we will start with the uh, one digit number so let's put five and now for uh, taking uh, for stopping the taking the input we need to press any non-digit so let's press asterisk so you can see that the function it has returned 5 and the value is 5 so now again it is asking for our input let's go with the say 2 digit number let's go with 58 now fresh has as per you wish you can see that it has returned 58 now go for higher digit numbers like 3 so we are 965 you can see that you have tied 965 it is also prompting now press star okay and that is the 965 we have got let's go with the four digit numbers four five eight nine okay so this is you have also got four five eight nine. this so this was the program i think it is a very easy tutorial for you because i, I will be uploading the code and remember please run the code do not try to remember the code because in various cases for your application you will be needing this part of the code so you can take uh, you can if you understand the code you can easily use that uh, snap of this code to your various applications like that so that was it please uh, uh, do comment what you have liked what you have not and also if there is any slight confusion please don't hesitate to ask it please write it in the comment box i will try my level best to solve your queries please like share and subscribe if you wish so thank you